Humans have been advancing our knowledge for as long as we have been on Earth, and the more we learn about the inner workings of our world, the more we learn that there is to discover, and the search for new knowledge endlessly continues. Some advances are medically life-changing, while others change the way that we live our lives. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three cases where scientific discoveries have helped us to understand the world that we live in. Google AIs have learned to become highly aggressive in stressful situations. Google's deep mind has made headlines for many reasons, but one of the most interesting news stories regarding the AI was that it learned to be highly aggressive in stressful situations. DeepMind was started in 2010 and joined Google in 2014 to accelerate its work. DeepMind notes its recent progress, stating that our programs have learned to diagnose eye diseases as effectively as the world's top doctors, to save 30% of the energy used to keep data centers cool, and to predict the complex 3D shapes of proteins which could one day transform how drugs are invented. In 2017, Researchers were testing the willingness of Google's AI to cooperate with others. They revealed that when DeepMind feels that it is about to lose, it opts for highly aggressive strategies. The Google researchers used multiple self-interested learning agents in a fruit-gathering game. In a scenario where resources were plentiful, the agents cooperated. However, when the resources were scarce, aggressive tactics emerged to knock each other out of the game to steal all the apples. DeepMind agents used lasers to tag its opponent to remove them from the game, allowing the first agent to gather more apples. The smaller DeepMind networks opted for more cooperative strategies in the game, compared with the larger, complex networks where the AI was reported more willing to sabotage its opponent to win the game. DeepMind was also tested in a second game called Wolfpack. This game encouraged cooperation through a reward for all players or wolves within the capture radius. This differed from the fruit gathering game, which removing a player with a laser did not give either player a reward, just more time for one player on the board to collect apples. In the wolf pack game, the reward received by the capturing wolves is proportional to the number of wolves in the capture radius. The paper stated that the idea is that the prey is dangerous, a lone wolf can overcome it, but it is at risk of losing the carcass to scavengers. However, when the two wolves capture the prey together, they can better protect the carcass from scavengers and hence receive a higher reward. Two different cooperative behaviors emerged in the wolf pack game. One where the wolves found each other before finding prey, and one where one wolf would find the prey and wait for the second wolf to arrive before capturing it. The researchers stated that, our experiments show how conflict can emerge from competition over shared resources and shed light on how the sequential nature of real-world social dilemmas affects cooperation. What does this mean for the future of AI? If two different AI systems are in charge of opposing interests, the two systems could essentially fight. An example used in multiple sources is that of driverless cars trying to find the fastest route versus traffic lights trying to slow the movement of traffic. These systems need to take account of each other for safety and efficiency. Loopholes in AI need to be anticipated when being developed. A computer will find the most efficient way of arriving at the outcome it was instructed to reach, even if it involves cheating or aggressive tactics. Safety and ethics surrounding AI will be questioned as it is developed further. Human-level AI is still in the distant future but it could either be great or very damaging for society. AI hides data A concern surrounding AI is that it will learn and hide things from its creators. For researchers at Stanford and Google, an AI did just that in order to cheat at a task it was given. CycleGAN, which stands for Cycle Generative Adversarial Network, is a neural network skilled in image-to-image -image translation, where it can transfer the characteristic of one image to another, such as turning an image from one style of painting to another or a zebra into a horse. In this case, CycleGAN was trained to transform aerial images into street maps 
and street maps into aerial images. In a paper released in 2017 entitled Cyclegan, a master of steganography, the researchers noted the ability of Cyclegan to hide information about source images in the images it generates through a high-frequency signal that is nearly imperceptible. The title of the paper alludes to its image-hiding capabilities. Steganography is the technique of hiding data within a file or message to avoid detection. It was noticed because the system started performing too well and added items such as skylights and exhaust vents into aerial images transformed from street maps that were devoid of this information. Rather than interpret features of each type of map and match it to the correct features of the other map, it encoded data that it could just use the original aerial photo to recreate it instead of creating a new aerial image from the street map. While on the surface it appears that the AI is highly intelligent and can fool humans, it actually highlights how a neural network can currently be fooled itself. CycleGAN, in this instance, is vulnerable to adversarial attacks. This is where small amounts of data are hidden in an image or dataset that will lead to an AI producing an output image of the attacker's choosing. Russia unveils Star Wars armor for infantry. In 2017, a Russian military research center released a video of what looks like a next-generation combat suit. Multiple media outlets refer to the suit as Star Wars-style armor. The suit includes a digital helmet, a bulletproof neck protector, body armor, and exoskeleton, amongst other features. The prototype was unveiled at the opening of Russia's largest high-tech prototyping center at the National University of Science and Technology in Moscow. It was developed at the Central Research Institute for Precision Machine Building, a major Russian weapons designer and primary military supplier. According to Russia Today, the armor combines ballistic protection with sensors, a powered exoskeleton and a heads-up display in the motorcycle-style helmet. The exoskeleton is designed to assist wearers in carrying heavy loads. It can also help with long marches and running. The suit is named Ratnik 3, which means Warrior 3. The suit is comprised of five subsystems, life support, command and communication, engaging, protecting and energy saving. According to reports, the Ratnik 3 is fully operational in anywhere from minus 22 degrees to 122 degrees Fahrenheit, with the user able to control interior temperature of the suit. The model that was displayed was a concept, but the designers aimed to make it a reality within the next couple of years. Originally stated that it would be ready for manufacture by 2020, this has now been pushed back to 2022. The suit has had multiple publicized updates since its first introduction in 2017. The latest is a watch that can reportedly survive a nuclear blast. It is self-winding and virtually indestructible. There are likely to be further updates released, with one researcher stating that the aim is to include medical technology in the suit, making it able to stop hemorrhaging. The video only shows a static version of the suit, and despite claims that this will be in use in the near future, there is little to prove it is actually functioning. The exoskeleton has been proven to be bulletproof, fireproof and explosion-proof through tests completed by the Central Research Institute. However, there are programs such as these that are in development for militaries all around the globe. The US was developing the tactical light operator suit, which was likened to Iron Man, but this has since been scaled back. Full-body, intelligent combat suits will still be in development by the military and private companies with the aim of being the first to have a futuristic product resembling something from science fiction ready for battle.